All right, we are looking at lesson 95 today. We're looking at more nonlinear systems of equations. Sometimes it'll tell you what they are, what the equations actually would graph. Other times they won't. Hyperbola. Do what? Mm, they're not too bad. Any ideas how we could solve it? Okay. Looking at the first equation. equals 6x minus 5. Just solving for y for the first one. Then what can I do with that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Subtract 5. 6x minus 5 is the same thing as y. So instead of x times y, what can I do? Now is it only in terms of x? Yep. So is that going to make it where we can solve for x? So what are we going to want to do now? 6x squared minus 5x equals 6. I don't know. What else? We could try what else? We can try and factor. What would we be factoring? Okay, so is there anything that will multiply to give you negative 36 that adds to give you a negative 5? Yeah. 9 and 4. So will it factor? Okay, so you can factor it or you can do quadratic. Either one. So minus 9 and minus 4? Plus 4. There you go. So is that what it's supposed to be? Okay. Oh, whoops. So divide by 3. 6 times negative 6. You remove this first number by multiplying it. And then 3x plus 2. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay, so 2x minus 3 equals what? 0. Or 3x plus 2 equals 0. Y'all remember that part? To solve it? So 2x equals 3. So what does x have to equal? Or 3x equals negative 2. So what does x equal? Negative 2 over 3. 
Are we done? Okay. Where am I going to plug it in? Why? I'll take that one. So what do I do? What is six times three over two? Minus five. Okay. And the other one. What is six times negative 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 four minus five? Negative nine. So, what do I do for my answer? Three over two, four. Negative two over three. Negative nine. So, we plugged it into this first equation to get the y value. When we multiply our x and y, what should they equal? So, check. Is three halves times four, six. Is negative two thirds times negative nine, six. Okay, so we probably did it correctly. Yeah, they do take a little bit of writing. But do y'all see how they work? Any questions here? Mm -hmm. One more example. It tells you where, like, how many intersection points you'll have. Yeah, but is that relevant to the problem? I mean, you don't have to know it. And then how do you find it? I mean, how do you find y after you solve for y squared? No, divide by y. How do you get rid of, rid of a squared? Do a square root. But for this one, I wouldn't use substitution. I wouldn't use substitution on these. I, I mean, I wouldn't use substitution. I would... Yeah, it's already set up for elimination. If you add them together, what would you get? Okay, so what is x squared equal? So, what is x? Yes, the square root of 1 is 1, but you're forgetting something. Why? Because it's squared. When you take the square root, you have to remember to put plus or minus. Square root? Yeah, plus or minus one. Yep. For any, when you take the square root, you're supposed to put plus or minus. Does that make sense? Where the plus or minus comes from? <coughs> oh my god. Wait, no, 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 I got it. Okay, so we have our x values, two separate ones. Now what? Okay, if I plug one, what is one squared? Plus y squared equals nine. So what are you forgetting? Plus or minus. It is. When a circle and a hyperbola intersect, they have four answers. So wait, does it four answers? Well, that's two of them so far. Now we gotta do negative one. What is negative one squared? Look familiar?
Now what? Two squirt to two. Okay, so how are we going to write our answer? Is that it? The answers are look weird sometimes. That's not really that weird. Or like you'll have to use the quadratic formula or something like that. Yes, this one. This one was easy. Any questions on how these work? Okay. So, circle. Do you know what a hyperbola looks like? No. And then what is like the it's the line of Bailey. I was like, oh. Yeah. What's the e part of this A parabola. Yeah, it can either do this way or this way. Either one. So it's the one where it's just one. Yeah, two. That's a parabola, where it's just one of them. A double is a hyperbola. Does that make sense? And so if you just kind of graph them, do you see how there are four places that they intersect? That's why it tells you what they are. So that you can kind of see. The hyperbola? The circle? Um, we'll learn. I don't want to overwhelm you. It, I mean, Alexis, is it hard to graph hyperbolas? Not really. It's just you have to know how to do it. And if I tried to do it right now, it would go way over your head. So it's not hard. It's just there's some steps you have to do to be able to graph it. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm, that's it. No. Before you go to your test. 